I was really inspired by this movie I watched last month. You may have seen it. It's called Revolutionary Road featuring uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Now, he was a co-star with, with a, a lady. I don't remember the lady's name, but she was really good. They were both really good. Here's what I got from the movie. I got from the movie that we have a, a, a certain window, and that window is called life. And in that window of life, one of the things that you have is a, a little thing called opportunity. And with opportunity, you have, you know, chance, free will to use the opportunity or to not use the opportunity. And what they played out was, you know, and I mean, I don't want to ruin the movie for you. Maybe you should go watch it. But what I learned from it was that opportunity is potentially limited and that when opportunity comes, you should use your opportunity and, and you should take advantage of your opportunities and you should do the best you can with your with those opportunities because when the window of life closes it's closed and so i watched that movie and i felt really inspired by that movie and that movie really the message you know i'm an artist i'm a writer so i look at all art and i think what was the message this person was trying to um elicit what were, what were they trying to create the message i got was that when you outgrow something you need to go. If you outgrow, you need to go. You need to go to the next version or the next level or advance to whatever it is that's going to pull you or grab you next. I think, and I mean, I could be wrong, but I think you hinder your happiness when you don't follow your path. I don't know if we all have paths that we're supposed to follow. I don't I don't know if there's destiny. I can't I can't prove that kind of stuff, but I do know we get signals and we get signs and we get we get paths. We all have our own path. If you look at my books, I love the word path uh, because I love what it represents. It represents that you are here and that you're going to go there. And I want to close with this. You know, I started with a movie. I want to end with a movie. When I was in high school, there was this movie uh, named Eight Mile. It was by Eminem. And as far as I understand, it was supposed to be like a, a, a loose take autobiography on his life. And one of the, the major scenes of the movie, you know, was right at the end of the movie. And um, he's about to go, I think, do a freestyle battle against uh, somebody. I can't Papa Papa Doe, I think his name was. I can't remember the character's name, but he was about to do this battle. And somebody went up to him. I think it was Cheddar Bob. That was one of the characters. And he was like, yo, yo, Rabbit, you got to go against, you know, Papa Doe. I think that's the champion. Like, you know, and I could have these characters wrong, but he's like, you know, you got to go against Papa Doe. Are you ready? And like, I, I'll never forget. This is one of the most powerful scenes. You know, Eminem, uh, he, looks at, he looks at his friend and he goes, I don't give a fuck who it is. I'm ready. And that has always stayed with me because, you know, I'm an athlete and, 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 and a writer. And, you know, I felt like odds have been against me at different times in my life. But when it comes to competition, when it comes to challenges, when it comes to taking an opportunity, when it comes to allowing myself to stay on my path, when it comes to allowing myself to go to that next level, that's how I feel. Like, I don't give a fuck who it is. I don't care what the challenge is. I don't care if the challenge is my own mind or my own heart. I don't care if it's someone bigger than me, stronger than me, smarter than me, uh, more good looking, you know, more charismatic, a better speaker. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what, what the opposition is. In Chicago, that's where I'm from. I'm from Chicago. We refer to it as the ops. Like, you know, it doesn't matter who the ops are. Like, as long as you have the belief in that path, and you have belief in yourself and you've practiced and you put effort into your path, then the path will lead you. And so there is no reason to worry about who the op is. There's no worrying, it's not, it's not needed. Instead, you just invest in your craft and you invest in your journey and you trust your journey. And you trust that when life gives you these signs, you just follow your path. So that's my story for today. 
the first movie was called uh, Revolutionary Road. The second movie that I referenced was called Eight Mile. Um, they both have inspired me. Maybe you'll get something out of them. My name is Sylvester McNutt III. I'm a best-selling author of eight books. And uh, I host the Free Your Energy podcast. So if you want to check that out, feel free to. And I hope we all continue to free our energy. I hope we all continue to stay on our paths and, and to find ourselves and to trust the signs, believe in ourselves, and, and, and stay humble with the whole process. All right? Free your energy.